Hello and welcome to the Forbes India One CEO Club in partnership with Google Cloud, a unique series that recognizes and celebrates India's finest CEOs. India Mart Intermesh is a remarkable story in Indian e-commerce. The company was founded in 1996. In 2019, it went in for a public listing. Throughout this journey, founder and CEO Dinesh Agarwal has retained a strong focus on B2B e-commerce. He wanted to make the internet simple for a growing base that has now scaled up to 5.7 million sellers. To find out how, I have with me Dinesh Agarwal, CEO and founder of India Mart. Dinesh, welcome to the show. Thank you. As an internet platform, whom does India Mart serve? Can you talk to me about the user base? So we serve all kind of businesses, whether it's small, medium or large businesses, uh, Indian as well as international business. Today, we have about 5.7 million suppliers registered on India Mart and about 93 million uh, buyers which are registered on India Mart. We do about 4 crores uh, buyer supplier matchmaking every month. How has this evolved across the four eras in which India Mart has operated? So we started in 1996 in the early days when there was hardly any computers or internet here in India. However, uh, I came from America and uh, there it was quite popular by then. So we thought that Indian exports were very important for uh, Indian economy point of view and from the American uh, importers point of view there was no price opacity or information availability. So we started with that era and in that era we were to receive inquiries from America by way of internet. Every night we used to print all those inquiries, okay. fax them overnight and send them by post uh, by the next year, day or so. So that continued for f about five years. And then somewhere around 99, 2000, when the internet boom happened, post that, uh, real export in internet started. And that was the era when you focused on computers, when you focused on email, when you focused on uh, content building, uh, more suppliers, so more exporters online. So I think from 2001 to 2006, uh, that was the second era of the computer. Then third era that we felt, uh, somewhere around 2007, 8, uh, that Indian export started to flatten out okay. and uh, uh, the mobile phone, the er erstwhile mobile phone, the voice based mobile phone with SMS and call that became very popular. So we had to completely reinvent ourselves uh, from being a computer based, email based uh, uh, platform to more of a voice based and SMS based uh, platform. And then last I think is the smartphone uh, regime which has uh, you know transformed the entire internet era into a very different way. And we also thought in 2010 for the first time that we want to completely pivot from an export oriented business to a domestic B2B business. And that is when uh, I think our growth has started to happen in a very rapid pace from a $10 million revenue business. Uh, now we are about, almost like a $80, $90 million revenue business. Okay. Yeah. India Mart has stayed out of logistics and delivery. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, and uh, what have the challenges been on account of that? So we uh, we have been mostly a platform and technology platform uh, or a media come technology platform. We provide you content, we provide you matchmaking, we provide you prices, we provide you specification. But I think B2B has a variety of products and services. We, we are across 100,000 plus categories in India and it is almost impossible for us to add value into the logistics or uh, those things. The B2B sector automatically knows and there is a lot of customization that goes on. Okay. People, uh, it's not a, a 5 kg item or a 2 kg item off the shelf that you pick up and uh, deliver it to your home. Uh, there is a lot of customization, it could be truck load, it could be a wagon load. Uh, so I think it is best that deliveries and uh, terms and conditions of deliveries are left to the buyer and supplier each other. Okay. Now with 20 years of data on the India Mart platform, how are you able to harness uh, external changes like artificial intelligence and machine learning? In the last couple of years, especially last three to five years, earlier we were using that data uh, by way of traditional algorithmic uh, matchmaking. Now we find that there are many use cases for us to utilize uh, machine learning and deploy artificial intelligence. I'll give you simple examples. Uh, the India Mart is a uh, curated database of uh, good businesses. 
lot of telemarketers try to use that to spam or to sell their service. Okay. You know, how to identify which particular call is a genuine call or a uh, spam or a selling call. Okay. Earlier, listening to the calls was almost impossible to do to be able to do that. Now there is a uh, complete uh, text to uh, voice to text algorithm behind that, and it automatically um, searches the patterns and identifies whether it is a spam or not. Similarly, there are suppliers who say furniture supplier. They will say that I can do all kind of furnitures, uh, chair, sofa, table. However, we know as per his behavior, he is only. Uh, doing mostly sofa set and uh, you know dining table but that particular information because on his website all the 100 products are written but which two are his bread and butter and where he is more likely to get converted that only his behavior can tell and then if, if we use machine learning to get our machine to learn each supplier's behavior each supplier's locational behavior each supplier's uh, uh, price behavior quantity behavior, we are able to do a very effective matchmaking on the uh, buyer side. Similarly, you know, we are a marketplace. A lot of people try and sell anything and everything. There could be banned uh, substances. There could be banned items which are not uh, allowed onto, onto the marketplace. Okay. And how to utilize uh, uh, every product that goes through. Humans can't even identify. It is only the AI and ML which can sort them out uh, that this particular image is not right for the platform. Okay. Dinesh, many thanks for sharing your insights from the India Mart journey. That was India Mart Intermesh CEO Dinesh Agarwal telling us about how to make technology relevant to a diverse set of buyers and users. It brings us to the end of this episode of the Forbes India One CEO Club in partnership with Google Cloud. But do join me next time as I speak with another CEO scripting a digital future for his company. Until next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.